let's move on to the next feature, which a lot of you are very excited about, and that's going to be the Salesforce Submit Connector. So this one is probably our most widely used one. It is great. It allows you to automatically and directly send information from your respondents to your Salesforce by updating or creating those Salesforce records and really just allows you to not have to worry about someone manually going in, editing those records, updating those records. All of that is done automatically by this connector. And let's go back here. Sorry, guys, I know there's a lot of kind of back and forth today on sharing my screen and going back to the slides, but it's all useful information and it's good to kind of see how it works in practice. So with this form, I've got just a simple contact us form. You've probably all filled one out or created one at some point, so not too snazzy, but here in my connector, I do wanna make sure that if I have an existing contact, it's going ahead and updating that contact record. And how it does that is if there's a email or contact ID or phone number or whatever kind of unique identifier, it'll look that up using that unique identifier I set here to find that existing contact record and updating it. But if a contact doesn't exist in my Salesforce, I want to create a lead record and not a contact record. And how I do that is using a lookup contact record step. So I again use that same lookup from the previous contact lookup step and just continue on if there's no matches and then I could go in and create that lead record. You can use this in a variety of ways. This is a very simplified setup for a save connector. Um, the beauty of a save, or sorry, not save, a submit connector. So a submit connector, you have access to literally every object and field in your Salesforce that you have access to. So if you are able to access something in Salesforce, you should be able to access it here in the submit connector and update it and do whatever you need to do and send that information directly to Salesforce.